Hey guys, I want to run through posting in local Viking. So, just jumping right in. If we go to new post, we can choose a single post, a multi-location post, or we can do a CSV bulk upload. In this video, we're going to concentrate on the first two. Select a single post. As you can see, we have the standard post, the event post, and the offer post. Okay, so we do support those post types. If we jump back, we can add a button, okay? We can add whatever whatever content, if I could spell, whatever content we would like to post on the GMB. As you can see, everything um, populates over here that will, that will be posted. Um, we do support spin tags, so if you guys have hand spun articles and you want to do bulk posting that way um, you know we do support spin tags you can click insert previous post URL and this is basically a way of daisy chaining all of the GMB posts together also consider that if you have your GMB website enabled through the GMB dash these posts turn into inner pages on that site and they will all be interlinked together if you daisy chain them. Of course you can choose from a gallery or upload an image. We have a stock photo library built in or you guys could also browse files and add your own. Um, we can crop the photo, we can do whatever we want and then one of my favorite parts is we can add the EXIF data. Uh, this is the metadata of your image, this is geotagging or optimizing your image. Um, click Edit EXIF to enable the editing capabilities, and then you can you can add in whatever EXIF data you want. You can also click Recommended EXIF, and this is going to populate using our tokenized system. It's it's going to populate the image with um, information from your GMB. Again, using our tokenized system, uh, you can use GPS from the location. You can um, on uh, deselect that box and you can enter custom latitude and longitudes or you can just use the GPS from whatever address your location's at. Now uh, if you want to add keywords, if you want to modify anything you can, you go ahead and click OK and that's going to pipe in your optimized image. You can download that geotagged image at a later time if you so wish. So you can actually use local Viking as a standalone geotagger. Um, you can choose to schedule the post so you can make the post for any time you can also select if you want it to be a recurring post so obviously if it's a recurring post you can select how many recurrent days how many days in a row you want the post to recur and you can also select the recurrent expire count so you know how many days until you want the post to stop basically and then you submit your post and it is easy as that and if you pop back up just give that one second up oh, I set the schedule time in the past I don't want to we'll just do this for silly me <laughs> get that post scheduled and then if you go under posts in your dash you can see that this post is done. You can also see um, the history of posts that you made. Again, we go back into post. We can select uh, the, the event type post, the offer type post, and um, we can also go to multi location post. We have the, it's pretty much the same thing. We have the difference this isn't a multi location brand, unfortunately, so. Obviously, there's no location showing, but it's the same concept. It's just we do offer multi-location posting. So in the next video, we'll cover the CSV bulk upload and show you guys where to get your bulk upload template. Thanks, guys.